In this video, I'm going to show you how to change your reagent for the DXH800 Beckman Culture Hematology Analyzer. You can see up top that my supplies are uh, indicated yellow, so I'm um, in this instance out of my diluent. Luckily, there's two, so I don't have to stop operation. However, you can see there that the diluent is out um, and it's number two so down at the bottom left you just click on setup and it'll bring up where you can scan in the barcodes and select what reagent it is. Um, you really only have to do that for the diluent because there's a one and a two so you just have to be um, cautious and make sure that after you scan your two barcodes that you do in fact select which diluent you are replacing. Uh, I'm actually going to show you the scanning of the barcode portion um, here in a second, um, and here we go. Um, so there's the diluent that I'm going to be, well, I already changed, but here are the two barcodes. Um, it's important that you block one when you scan the other, and vice versa. And at that point, that's when it would pop up and ask you which diluent you're changing. Um, also up here, it's um, where the tubing goes in, it's pretty easy, it's just a little screw top. And then there's actually like a plastic um, cover piece that's supposed to hold uh, the reagent from collapsing in on itself. Um, I try and screw this in with just one hand, which is a little awkward, but it's just a screw. It's very easy. Um, and then once you get it, the tubing attached to the top of the reagent, you just go ahead and place that plastic cover in place. It just kind of slides on. Um, and that's all you have to do there. And like I said, make sure you choose the correct diluent, and then you just say that you changed it and hit OK, and there's all, you know, that's all there is to it. Thank you for watching.